Hi guys, welcome to Valletta Malta. Excuse my attire, I was at the pool at the Radisson and I shot in an Uber and wanted to get settled in here as I do have a tour today at 6 p.m. and I wanna have time to shower and whatnot. But this hotel that I booked is probably one of my best hotel decisions in my travel life. And I just really wanted to share it with you guys. So it is called 1926 La Perisseau. It is a historic boutique suite as it used to be a refurbished palazzo and it is absolutely spectacular. Um, there, It is what you call a self-catered boutique hotel. So there is not always somebody on the premises, but they are here every day from 11 to 4. And I already met Anna and she was just phenomenal, got me all settled in. So I'm going to show you around. This obviously is in a large resort, so it won't take quite as long as the last review. So this is St. Paul Street. This is the main street in Valletta. And then if you go that way, about two blocks, you're at the ocean. So there's two main streets in Valletta and this is one of them. So like I said, this is a self-catered hotel. So when you come to check in ahead of time, you are given access codes to the doors, to your room and to the rooftop. So let's flip this around and I'll show you around. So like I said, 1926, La Parisot. Walk in, they have the cute little doors. And it is what you call a boutique suite. Here's a little keypad. So once that the person that's here during the day goes home, then you use this to get in. So there's no keys here, which is really nice. Got a nice little entryway. And they also have a hotel in Salima the 1926 Le Soleil and I am going to go there on Tuesday because they have a beach club with a pool so that's how I'm going to spend Tuesday and then I have a photo shoot with the flying dress on Tuesday night so you walk in and again there's no reception because everything is self-catered but there is a breakfast that's included every day and they have a beautiful little breakfast area so you just can come down here and have a very light breakfast, a petit déjeuner, if you will. And this is Anna, my new Thank friend, you. who is the best hostess in all of Thank Malta. You. See you later, Anna. You. Let's take the elevator because it's kind of cool because it'll open up here. And we'll go do my room first. I'm on the third floor. I'm not kidding you guys, this hotel is pure charm. I love it here already. I wish I almost would have stayed here my whole week, but I'm glad I got that really good beach time. So you got like this really cool open window elevator. And then I am on floor three. three. So you come out the elevator and I am in room 301. So this is my door and room 301. And I think this is, yep. So then you walk in and it's got the cutest little kitchen area ever. Got my London bag right there. She's ready to go to London. My shoes. You got a cute little like counter to eat at with a cute little coffee maker. All this is included. They have an assortment of coffees and teas, and they even have cute little, look at how cute the cups are. And they have all kinds of tea if you want to do regular tea like this. All right, coming over here, we have the safe, an iron, an ice bucket, a refrigerator, a little hot pot, which I'll never use. Water is included. Silverware, dishes, all that is included. We got a small little microwave. And cleaning products and all that you shall need. And there's my Malta suitcase. It's got some robes and slippers. It's got some extra towels in here a little ironing board, hangers, everything you could need in the kitchen area. Then you go up this little step, got a full length mirror. Hi, I told you I look a hot mess from being out at the pool all day. 
Um, got a nice big TV, a comfortable chair with the coffee table, and that was a welcome bottle of wine that I was given. And then we also have a cute little sofa, and then a nice little bed right there. Um, plenty of outlets here for charging. And then like some sliding glass doors. I like them, they're kind of cool. So they kind of add an element of, wow. And then you go into the bathroom. And once you're in the bathroom, you have, we'll have light in a minute, there we go. You have a nice little stand-up shower. Everything is so pristine and clean. A nice little vanity area. A little bidet and a toilet and a warm, a towel warmer. Got a makeup mirror. This place has thought of everything. Got a vanity kit, dental kit, shower cap, all the things. Looks like the products are lovely. Let's smell. Oh yeah, they're good. I love good product. So yeah, that's what we got. Just the cutest little hotel. Uh, you should stay here. That's all I have to say. I am going to continue this up on the rooftop. So I will join you in a minute. So now we're back in the elevator and we're going to go to the fifth floor. And as you can see, as we rise, now you can see some of Valletta. Such a beautiful city, such a great location. So this is the fifth floor, which is known as the rooftop. All right. Not that way. I opened the wrong door. Sorry, guys. This is the rooftop. And this also has a key access. I'm gonna see if I can maybe not close it all the way. So you come up these stairs. It's got a nice little jacuzzi hot tub. Some couches and lounge chairs. Some tables. But can you stand this view, ladies and gentlemen? This is Valletta Malta right here. This is where it's at, close to everything. There's the ferries that take you to all the other surrounding Maltese islands, Gozo, Camino. There's even a ferry that runs to and from Sicily, Italy from here. Um, ferries out to the Three Sisters Islands, which I believe those are the three, three islands, I think they're called, which is right in front of me. You've got one, two, and three and then I think the Baraka Gardens where I'm going for my tour is right over there so this is just a pristine view over Valletta Malta which let me tell you guys Malta is worth visiting there is a lot of history here and it's a quite phenomenal place um, but this hotel you guys six out of five stars this one is just this is the bomb. I am so excited about it. It reminds me of a little place I stay in Paris called the Re Resident Fauche. And it's a little boutique hotel like this. And it's just a lovely place to stay in Paris as well. So I love these kind of boutique hotels. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good resort five star experience too. But these charming little boutique hotels, especially in Europe, are really the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed my tour. I hope if you're coming to Malta, you will stay, stay in this hotel. I can't even preface that enough. And I hope you all have a good one and I'll see you soon. Okay, I just got out of the shower. So I have a couple things to add. All the linen in this hotel, the bathrobes, the sheets, everything is an Italian brand called Frate. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they are very expensive linens. Um, the bathrobes, the towels, the sheets, it's all frite. And then they have these magical little barrels built into the wall 
And look at what all your bath products are. See what I mean? If you stay at a good hotel, who needs to bring bath products? Molten Brown London, got the lotion here. And then in the shower, they have bath shampoo, hair shampoo, and conditioner. The shower is a rain shower. And it also has a rinsing one, which I just like the rain shower. I think rain showers are the greatest thing ever invented. So just a few more things that I've noticed. I keep finding little things that impress me. Um, also the Nespresso for the coffee. It's the Nespresso pods, which is what I have at home. So that makes me like really happy because I haven't had a proper cup of coffee since I've been in Malta, except for one time at my hotel, I had a latte. Um, the place I stayed out in Meliha, there's no Starbucks or anything. It was very remote, but I don't need Starbucks if I have an espresso. So anyway, just a few more things I wanted to add because I was so impressed when I went to put my bathrobe on and saw it was for Tay, and then I looked at the sheets and the towels, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this place has spared like absolutely no expense. So anyway, I got to get ready. I have a tour to get ready for, but I just wanted to add on and again, tell you that the star level just went up. If I could give this place 10 out of five stars, I would. This place is awesome. Hope you're having a good one. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your travels.